Hi there everyone, hope you're having a lovely day. Harvey here again for the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel. Another 90 minute daily coming up and apologies I couldn't get this out sooner. Um, but obviously, uh, like I said in the last video, I'm up here in Oxford at the moment. I'm going back home today. Um, so I'm with my cousin, so it basically I've not really found time to get a video out, but I'm going to do one now. Um, my reaction basically to the Champions League final and the playoff final yesterday. I did watch quite a bit of both. And first of all, fair play to Real Madrid. Well done. They've they won the game. Liverpool, I have to say, first half, it was a really quite, quite, in my opinion, a bit of a dead half. But Liverpool did more than enough to show that they could, they could win. And they could, they looked threatening. They looked more likely to score, I'd say, first half. Um, Carrius had a decent first half. Um, and then the two mistakes. What can you say? I mean, it's absolutely bang out of order the sort of abuse he's been getting online afterwards. And the like, death threats and all of that is absolutely disgraceful because well, I don't know what is going on in his head right now. He must be absolutely crushed. And I, all I can say is just that, you know, being a goalkeeper myself, obviously not at that level, but Sunday league goalkeeper, I just have all the sympathy for him. I can't believe what is, I've had mistakes like that happen to me before and you just feel awful. But on that sort of level, I, I can't really put into words how he must be feeling. So unlucky to Liverpool, but you know, hopefully this they've, they've been really arrogant the last few weeks. All I hear on Twitter and stuff is the Ale 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 chant. And now hopefully it will just die down a little bit. I would have liked to have seen Liverpool win for English side reasons. And uh, obviously if you're a fan of a top six club and a fan of Everton, for example, you probably wouldn't have want, wanted Liverpool to win. But I think most other English clubs would have wanted to see Liverpool win because, you know, we have no rivalry with them and an English club winning uh, the Champions League would, would have been great. So, unlucky to Liverpool, but congratulations to Real Madrid. And also, guys, the Bale goal, it is the best goal ever scored in a final, I have to say. Better than Zidane's, better than Ronaldo's against Juventus earlier in the in the Champions League run. So, for me, it's hands down best goal ever scored in a final. Leave your call, thoughts below in, in, the, in the comment section. What is the best goal you've ever seen in a final? Not just in Europe, in the Champions League, but... Uh, you know, in general, finals all around the world, what is the best goal you've ever seen? I think it tops it, that Bale goal. I've, I've never seen a goal as good as that. And it could be his last game for Madrid as well, by the sounds of things, the way he was talking in the interviews afterwards. Looks like he could be on his move to United, maybe. I don't know. Again, comment below. Is Gareth Bale leaving Madrid in the summer? And if so, where do you think he will go? And finally, before we finish, guys, congratulations to Fulham. They're coming back into the champion uh, from the championship. They're coming back to the Premier League after a was it now five-year absence, four-year absence. Um, Tom Kearney with the goal, lovely through ball from Sassignon, and yet again, I keep getting told he's 17 years old. And it's like, oh, we didn't know that. The media keep saying, bringing up his age, like like we didn't know. Um, but yeah, he is a one for the future, of course. Uh, I think the fact that they've been promoted is, means it's a really good chance that the likes of Sessegnon, Kearney and also Mitrovic could stay at the club. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Mitrovic stays uh, after his loan spell if he signs a permanent deal with Fulham. He is a player that I would love at Palace, personally. Um, he has that link uh, when he played at Anderlecht with Luka Milivojevic, so I would love him. He's a really good sort of like gritty striker that will you know he get that the fans would love so i'll do a video on him in the days to come guys a little transfer thing but it looks like with fulham coming up that he could stay at fulham um i would have personally liked villa to come up and that's mainly because of jed knack i would have loved to see him back at sellers park next season um it's a shame that he couldn't but uh fulham is, is it's a nice away day craven cottage just down the thames you know easy for palace fans and it's a good away day but the fact that they took clappers to wembley they actually took clappers to Wembley. The biggest game they've had. They haven't been at Wembley since the 70s, I believe. And they bring clappers. Just clap with your hands, guys. Come on. What is this obsession with Fulham and clappers? And not just Fulham, Leicester, other clubs using clappers. Honestly, I hate, I hate clappers so much. They're the one thing I'd love to ban from football straight up. So comment below, guys. Are you happy Fulham came up? If, if not, then why why not? <laughs> uh, who do you think will be staying at Fulham? Do you think Kearney, uh, Sassing Young, these players will stay at Fulham now that they're promoted? And also, Clappers. Should Fulham have not come up, or should Villa have come up instead, 
just because of Fulham using clappers. So let me know guys, a lot of questions there, a lot of really two awesome finals to watch. Got the Shrewsbury Rotherham final for the League One playoff coming up tonight. So best of luck to those teams. And yeah, I'll be sending out some proper videos next week, but uh, thank you so much guys for watching. Do your thing and as always comment below, love the comments coming in, like, share and subscribe.